Oh God, it's so lovely. <laughs> Buongiorno, it's very cold outside and decided to make an Italian hot chocolate, a creamy one. I've got all of the ingredients in front of me, but they're also listed below. Um, very few ingredients, but a really delicious drink. Uh, I've got 100 grams of dark chocolate. This is uh, um, 75 grams uh, is at 70 percent uh, cocoa and uh, 25 grams 85 percent cocoa. Then I got some bitter cocoa, uh, a little sugar, and uh, some uh, corn flour and uh, 600 milliliters of milk. Let's uh, make a start. Using your hands, break your chocolate into the small pieces first. You can use, by the way any type of chocolate you like. This is uh, dark chocolate, but uh, if you prefer to use milk chocolate, by all means, go ahead. With a knife, I will be chopping it into minute little pieces. Also, an alternative is uh, chocolate chips. You can use uh, milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips, but do get the quantities right. So there it is, I will be temporarily putting it in a bowl. We'll do some washing up. Add 15 grams of corn flour into a bowl and pour in a little milk. I'm using uh, semi-skimmed milk, but you can use uh, whole milk or skimmed milk or indeed any milk you like. You can also use uh, almond milk if you want, um, if you are milk intolerant, it's your choice. And uh, mix it together, ensuring that uh, the corn flour is all uh, melted with the milk. Okay, it's all gone and I'm now adding 30 grams of uh, normal sugar and a little pinch of salt. Now gently and gradually add the cocoa. This is uh, bitter cocoa, a little at a time. And keep stirring. I've added 45 grams of cocoa. Great, I think we are there. As you can see, everything is uh, melted together and uh, there are no lumps left. In a medium-sized pot from uh, cold, um, do not turn the, the hob on yet, pour in half of uh, the remaining milk, add your chocolate mix, pour the rest of the milk uh, into your bowl and give it a rinse and add it to the mix. I turned the hob on and uh, I have um, put it on a very high heat, not the maximum, on a fairly high heat, number eight out of nine. And uh, I'll give it an initial stir and I'll keep an eye on it as we need to take it almost to the boil. So the hot chocolate is uh, nice and uh, hot, has reached a, a, an almost boiling temperature. You can see there are a few little bubbles on the side and uh, with a spoon I'll show you the nice uh, creamy consistency already. And uh, this is when we're going to be adding the rest of the chocolate. Just pour it in. We are nearly there as the chocolate it needs to just melt, not cook. I'll turn the heat off and uh, we will let it finish without any form of heat from the hob. I've let it rest for a minute or so and I'm now going to pour it in my cup. What you can do, by the way, to stop a film being uh, formed on the top, put the lid on and uh, you can always reheat it later, <laughs> assuming it lasts until later. And uh, we'll try. Mm. Oh God, <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> I can also 
use a spoon because it's nice and thick. Mm. Oh, definitely a real treat on a cold winter day. There is nothing else that beats it. Mm. Ciao ciao for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Arrivederci. Bye.